And when Mo and Amy fight here in a few minutes, they'll go for that. But for now, let's set this aside. <laughs> Because I also have. <laughs> and I'm sad when I look at it. For 3,000 years, I have defended this trophy as a master of the haiku form. I was trained on Cold Mountain by Shi Te and Han Shan back in the Dang Dynasty. We was always like, Dang, man. But yeah. <laughs> I've been haiku deathmatch champion through the European Renaissance, through the age of the Ottoman Empire, the American Revolution, when tribes wandered the earth, and I had defended it all year long without being beaten. And then earlier this month, betrayed by my own 15-year-old daughter, who was like, I guess I'll do it if nobody else can do it. I was like, all right, cool. So I was like, that's cool. Homegirl was in the woods like Rocky and Rocky IV training for Drago, carrying rocks around, writing haiku in the thousand-year-old oak trees. Came out and beat my ass. <laughs> Took my trophy. So I'm ordering one with her name on it for her. And I still got to defend this one in Richmond. And this one says, Rojo Neku. Haiku Deathmatch Spirit Warrior. And if I should lose, which last month I never would have thought possible, never in my wildest dreams would I have thought possible I would lose a match in a Haiku Deathmatch. But my confidence is shaking, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little shaken. And Sam was talking so much shit, she ain't even in here, is she? Where's she at? Where's she leave? Well, there's a lady. Anybody know what Sin is? Smoke a cigarette? Probably. All right. Well, look, I'm going to tell y'all, she's going to come in here in a minute, and she thinks she's going to beat me. We do best of 25 to 13. She ain't going to beat me. She said, let's do it about love and sex, thinking she's going to throw me off my game because I'm a monogamously married man of, like, 119 years. <laughs> she ain't going to beat me. She thought she going to shake me up with some sex haiku. Yo, fucking is my revolution. That's the revolutionary act. I ain't lying when I say that. I got three kids. You know why I got three kids? Because my wife and me is two. Now we got three. Them motherfuckers gonna come up just a little bit more. Them motherfuckers gonna have kids that gonna be a little bit more. More crazy motherfuckers make kids than assholes make kids. Eventually we gonna win, right? Woo! Down my list of haiku. Over here, on the Scotland side, talking mad shit for two months. Her name is Sin Corrigible. Yeah, 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 what's up? And on this side, right here. Sexy motherfucker named Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, That's the 25. Angie, can you keep track of the score for me? Because I get into the heat of battle. I start seeing red and purple and yellow and rainbows, and I can't concentrate on numbers, and I can't add well no way, so let's hook a brother up. You got the mic the way you like it? I don't know. All right. I think it's good. You get to go first. Strike first, young lady. All right. I'll ruin the haiku for the audience's sake. Get horny, get laid. <laughs> my first time was with myself under the covers. I was wonderful. <laughs> Mysteries of the quantum, our entanglement. 
inadequately prepared for this death match, much like flaccid penis. <laughs> All right, I'm up two to nothing. You get to go first. Christ queered his measure, whether pussy or pecker, it's all sex for pleasure. Objectifying predatory gaze, leering. What's up, girl? I say. <laughs> all right, she ain't got that one. I'm up two to one, and I get to go first because you won that round. Penis is trickster, scammy women, scammy men to say not all men. <laughs> True, this might destruct. You can think about that, dear, or we could go fuck. <laughs> all right, two to two, tied up. I get to go first. Orgasmic spasm blasts human ectoplasm into bath towel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sometimes I think that you may just be what I want. Sorry, wrong again. All right, I'm up three to two. Get to go first. All right. Tensions are rising. Frustration of menstruation. I'll fuck you next week. <laughs> Tung Fu, 69th Chamber, Shaolin Warrior Skills. Beware my short sword. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, four to two, I'm winning. Always entangled, together we discover, be my good lover. Real talk, sexual desire could be distraction from ascetic path. <laughs> I am up by the two. It's all right, I like it my ass with funny you, Raven. You dance around me with romantic posturing. I'm tired now. Cashews like little dicks. Walnuts like little brains. Eating dicks and brains. <laughs> You can break my heart. Pleasure of senses, distraction from connections deeper than pussy. Tongue parts, tigris, euphrates, fertile crescent, 
prepare to plan. <laughs> Scene one, that one. So I'm up eight four, but I lost that round, so I get to go first. All right. See what I got. Fuck until tingles of chi energy tangled in tantric tandem. <laughs> Outside my front door, silly caterpillars dance. An old crow eats them. That's you. Yeah, that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nine to four. I'm up nine to four. Going to thirteen. You got a long way to go, girl. That's me again. Though grazed and abrazed every time I'll open wide. Epic mustache rag. <laughs> Secular Al Green setting the mood. T candles lit, naked, alone. <laughs> All right, you won that one. What's that? Nine to five, right? Yes. Girl, Al. All right, hold on. I get to go first. Here we go. <laughs> Big girls need love too. Giant, sexy elephants at Washington Zoo. <laughs> Stare all day at piles of fruit. Compare and contrast. The point is still moot. Alright, nine to six, coming back. Alright, I get to go first. Building twin body wood stove beneath winter quilts in Hollywood Beach and Farmhouse. This may all be just empty talk, but I sure do miss your big eager cock. Sixty-ninth set sutra basho froggy style. <laughs> My will collapses, suspending all disbelief. I am here with you. All right, ten to seven, seven. ten to seven. You lose at ten to seven. You get to go first. All right. I'm your sitting duck. Better tell me now, baby. Are we gonna fuck? <laughs> Penis created in God's own image. Hooded, big headed, ugly. Not <laughs> <laughs> ugly. I 11 to 7. 11 to 8, 11 to 7. Put it. 11 to 7. You get to go first. It's only the fools who wonder why they're loved. Just know that it's so. Classic Raven Mac, top 10 inches of penis, list ending halfway. <laughs> 12 seven. Now hold up, hold up. We're going to 13. So if you lose, oh, that's it. Right. That's it. That's it. Done. Yeah. Eliminate. That's it. Black hole, big bang bags. Your head is the universe while between my legs. <laughs> I love eating thick slice of brown sugar pie. Not a euphemism. <laughs> All right, one down, 12 to eight, coming back. Y'all don't like brown sugar pie. I do. Fuck <laughs> all. <laughs> that means more for me. New mountain mystic sunbays on rock face, soaking up chi energy. 
You're so avant-garde. If I'm going to be your lover, what gets you hard? Twelve nine. Sex is for making children, not your own selfish indulgence of sense. <laughs> Wait, but this is for you. I often wonder who it was that broke your heart. I think it was you. Denied own mortality. <laughs> Some things can't be forced. Never to be satisfied. Guess we run our course. Damn. Cheap hotel, sink full of ice and beer, both of us half drunk. Proposed. <laughs> After the eclipse, when your fears have blacked me out, dream about my lips. Pikeville, Kentucky, this soap. I would set it by the speakers, let it listen to old Motown. Actually, that's a lie. I got them lowrider oldies compilations. And I was playing lowrider oldies for this family. And like, I would leave it like this every night. And when I came out in the morning, Oh, yeah, my bad. I was 
17 years old. Don't bother with black sheets, even when on sale. <laughs> Man kicking dog told me, go back to Monroe Park, Dyke. No doubt, I think. <laughs> All right, Amy took that one. Tied up one to one. Tied up one to one, y'all. Ginseng shot. Come on. All right, Mo, you get to go first. Bite marks looking like galaxies, purple and red, remind me of you. Shh. Baby, don't talk. I like your M shaped top lip most when it's quiet. <laughs> Good job. Hey. Up two to one. Up two to one. Mo, you get to go first. My dog devours books. I reckon at least she's literate. <laughs> I'd film it for you, but I'm looking at you folks. You can't handle it. Judges. All right, Mo took it. Tied up. Two to two. Amy. Don't ever lose faith, kids. He's down but not out for long. He's the comeback kid. Broken down in West Virginia? I guess I'll try that wintergreen skull out. <laughs> All right, Amy took that one up three to two. This could be it, love. This could be it. Maybe not. I mean, it won't be like it, it. <laughs> Uh, tater tot the dog sounds the alarm. They're fucking! Bark, bark, they're fucking! <laughs> <laughs> Haikus about fuck, fuck news, wordplay, clever men, smart girl turn ons. Alright, Mo took that one, three to three. Now, what was you trying to say right there? <laughs> Three to three. This Wasn't is that, it. Is that, I thought she just beat me on that. She one. did. And that made it three to three. Oh, man. So this is it. You got another one? Maybe. You got to think of it. Three to three, this is it. Everybody, Mo has been here multiple times and she might be about to win again and get her first trophy. Let's hear it from Mo. Never come up here until I made her do it tonight, even though she had already written some shit. But let's hear it for Amy. All right. This is it. They will read it once. And I'm gonna say, hold up, and they're gonna read it again with authority. And then the judges will throw up the flags, and I will say, congratulations to one of them, and the other one will be ignored. <laughs> Smart mouth, gunmetal bruises and grease, waitresses, goddamn. Love. Gun show day is sure as shit gonna get my head on straight for a queer. Hold up, judges. Read it again with authority, baby. Okay, I find it again with authority. <laughs> Spindly leg, smart mouth, gunmetal bruises and grease, waitresses, goddamn. Love. Gun show day is sure as shit gonna get my head on straight for a queer. Judges. Amy Woo! took it. Don't that many people like couscous? <laughs> Bring your own flavor. Come on up next month. We will be here again on August 27th. But don't go nowhere. Because I got my man, Matt Connor. I'm going to tell you a story about my man. 
Back in the day, we lived together. Now, I like that story said, I'm river people. So one time, we had had to go to my mom's house for some bullshit, and I'm river people, so my license was suspended because of a DUI. But when you river people, you always know shit's about to get fucked up. So you're always planning and plotting and thinking about worst case scenarios. So when I went to court, knowing I was gonna lose my license, I didn't take my license. It was at home. So they threw me in jail for the afternoon, had my license at home. We rode to my mom's house, driving back down 360, coming to Amelia County. Cops saw me not wearing my seatbelt, because back then you didn't have to wear one, and I had a death wish, to be honest with you. I ain't give a fuck. Pulled us over. Sir, can I have your license? I was like, well, yeah, man, here you go, I'm thinking. All right, maybe my man just look at it and let me go, you know. I'm a sexy man. He ain't seen my sexiness. He went back to his machine car, ran it through the robots, came back. Mr. Thousand Feathers, you realize your license is suspended? I was like, well, yeah, you see, what had happened was I had lost my license. But then I had to go to my mom's house because she had some paperwork. I'm trying to get this job and I ain't had no money, so I really can't afford a ticket. But that's, I mean, I had to go get this shit from my mom. And my man right here drove the whole way. But he works at a restaurant and they ain't shut down until like two hours before we came. So he ain't had a chance to sleep. So I was like driving like seriously, like 10 miles. Just let him have a nap. He said, Mr. Thousand Fellas, come back to my car. I'm like, oh shit. He said, you can sit in the passenger seat. I was like, oh, cool. He didn't put me in the back, so I knew it was good. I sat down with my man, started talking mad shit. I said, yo, if my man drives off, take me home, can I slide? He was like, all right, I'll let you slide. You look like a good dude. You look all right, I'll let you slide. But don't let me catch you in these parts again, young man, or I'll shave your beard off. I was like, oh. I was like yes, sir, yes, sir. So I walk up to the car, open the passenger door. I'm like, Matt, it's all good, man. All we got to do is let you drive us home and we scot free. Matt looked at me, I can't drive a stick. So I was like, what the fuck you gonna learn right now? <laughs> he walked around, get in the driver's seat, not being able to drive a stick, parked on the side of the highway where it's a lot of gravel, real loose, cop car. Like seriously, it was like 10 centimeters behind us, right there. Matt got in there. He knew how to drive a clutch, he just wasn't practiced at it. So I said, all right, man, just go for it. Ain't nothing we can do. He put her in first, popped the clutch, spun out gravel flying all up on the cop car. Dude ain't pulled out after us. We rolled on down the road. Once we got to the county line, I drove from there. He was so upset about it, he went in his room, he did cocaine for 19 days, <laughs> doing nothing but playing his guitar, and he became master of the guitar, just like I'm a master of haiku. And it was all because I didn't have a license. And that's why he's playing tonight, because he owes me, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care, I'll take a moment. Yeah. You want to talk to me? Hang out, listen to my man Matt. He gonna make me cry. Buy a beer so you got something to cry into. Come back next month. Peace. Woo! Woo!